Welcome back, history enthusiasts, to another fascinating journey through the annals of time. Today, we embark on a captivating expedition to ancient Egypt to uncover the extraordinary reign of one of its most enigmatic pharaohs, Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut, a woman of unparalleled power and wisdom, defied the norms of her era to rule as Egypt's most powerful female pharaoh. Throughout her reign, she forged a legacy that resonates throughout the ages, transforming Egypt into an era of prosperity and grandeur. But who was this remarkable ruler? How did she ascend to the throne in a male-dominated society? And what were her greatest achievements that earned her the title of Ma'at Kare, the wise and just ruler of Upper and Lower Egypt? The story of Hatshepsut begins in the magnificent city of Thebes, the thriving capital of ancient Egypt's new kingdom. Born to royalty, Hatshepsut was destined for greatness from the very start. Her father, Pharaoh Tutmos I, and mother, Queen Amos, ruled with strength and vision, shaping Egypt's destiny for years to come. But it was Hatshepsut's destiny that would set her apart from all others. Growing up within the palace walls, young Hatshepsut displayed an insatiable curiosity about the world around her. Her thirst for knowledge and keen intellect impressed those around her, foreshadowing her future as a ruler. As the apple of her father's eye, she received the best education, cultivating her intellect and leadership skills from a young age. Under her father's wise tutelage, Hatshepsut embodied the wisdom and knowledge that would later become the cornerstone of her reign. Pharaoh Tutmos I recognized her potential and did not shy away from nurturing her talents, even in a society where female rulers were rare. As Hatshepsut grew into a young woman, her father's love and belief in her abilities became evident during a momentous event. Pharaoh Tutmos publicly crowned her as the god's wife of Amun, a prestigious religious position, further highlighting her significance within the royal family. This pivotal role allowed Hatshepsut to wield considerable religious authority, gaining invaluable experience that would prove crucial in her later role as pharaoh. Hatshepsut's life took a momentous turn when she married her half-brother Tutmos II, the rightful heir to the throne. This marriage tied her fate to the royal lineage, positioning her for a future she could not have anticipated. As the new Queen of Egypt, Hatshepsut's life became intricately woven into the political fabric of the kingdom. Her role as a supportive wife and queen consort was crucial in solidifying Thutmose II's reign. Behind the scenes, Hatshepsut's intelligence and true judgment became invaluable to her husband's rule. Her wisdom and guidance helped shape decisions that would impact the course of Egypt's history. Tragically, Tutmos II's untimely death marked a turning point in Hatshepsut's life. With the throne left to her young stepson, Tutmos III, she found herself at a crossroads that would redefine her destiny. As regent for Tutmos III, Hatshepsut displayed remarkable leadership and governance, guiding Egypt through a period of stability and prosperity. In a bold and unprecedented move, Hatshepsut eventually assumed the title of Pharaoh, defying societal norms and becoming Egypt's most powerful female ruler. She donned traditional Pharaoh's regalia, which included wearing a ceremonial beard the beard was a symbol of male pharaoh's divine power and authority, and by wearing it, Hatshepsut aimed to embody the divine right to rule. Statues and depictions of Hatshepsut were often sculpted or carved with physical male characteristics. In these representations, she was portrayed with a more muscular and masculine body type, further reinforcing the image of the male pharaoh. Furthermore, Hatshepsut used the pharaoh's traditional kilt, a garment typically reserved for male rulers, to visually communicate her status as the reigning monarch. 
by adopting these male attributes, Hatshepsut sought to gain the respect, acceptance, and legitimacy of her role as Pharaoh. The role of Pharaoh was a religious as well as a governmental role in which certain rights had to be fulfilled by the Pharaoh for ma'at or order to be kept in the land. By her completely embracing all of the religious rights as well as the religious imagery associated with the traditional role of the Pharaoh, she was considered to be able to fulfill the religious and governmental role as Pharaoh and keep and preserve the order of Ma'at in the land. As Pharaoh, Hatshepsut sought to strengthen her legitimacy and authority by asserting a divine connection to the gods. She proclaimed herself as the daughter of the great god Amun-Ra, making her a demigoddess, a divine being in human form. By aligning herself with Amun-Ra, one of Egypt's most revered deities, Hatshepsut sought to elevate her status above mortal rulers, positioning herself as a chosen vessel of the gods. To further solidify her divine identity, Hatshepsut lavished attention on religious activities and temple construction. She believed that her connection to the gods would garner divine favor and blessings for Egypt during her reign. Hatshepsut also oversaw successful military campaigns in regions like Nubia, a region of great strategic importance to Egypt. Her decisive victories in these campaigns solidified Egypt's dominance and expanded its territorial influence. The spoils of war also brought great wealth and resources to Egypt, enabling Hatshepsut to fund ambitious construction projects and cultural endeavors that contributed to Egypt's golden age. Hatshepsut's military successes not only safeguarded Egypt's borders, but also brought great stability and prosperity to the kingdom during and long after her reign. As a visionary leader, Hatshepsut recognized the immense potential of international trade for Egypt's prosperity. She established and revitalized key trade routes connecting Egypt to distant lands and fostering lucrative trade partnerships. One of her most celebrated achievements was the legendary expedition to the mysterious land of Punt. Hatshepsut's determination and strategic planning led to a successful journey to this exotic and distant land. From Punt, Hatshepsut's traders brought back a treasure trove of rare and exotic goods, including spices, incense, precious metals, and intriguingly, exotic trees never before seen in Egypt. These exotic trees, along with other valuable resources, enriched Egypt's economy and culture, leaving a lasting impact on the kingdom during her reign. Hatshepsut sought to immortalize her reign through awe-inspiring architectural masterpieces. Her grand mortuary temple, Da'ir al-Bari, dedicated to the god Amun-Ra, stands as a testament to her commitment to religious piety and artistic excellence. Her temple complex was a marvel of engineering and design. With its grand colonnade terraces and intricate reliefs narrating the stories of her divine birth and achievements. But Hatshepsut's building campaign did not end there. She oversaw the construction and renovation of numerous temples, obelisks, and statues, leaving an enduring legacy of architectural brilliance across Egypt. Towards the end of her reign, Hatshepsut faced mounting challenges including the rise of her stepson and co-ruler, Tutmos III. The young pharaoh grew increasingly ambitious and sought to assert his own authority. Following Hatshepsut's death, there was a concerted effort to erase her memory from the historical record. Statues were defaced, inscriptions were altered, and her name was removed from official documents. Tutmos III sought to solidify his rule and legitimacy by eradicating any references to Hatshepsut, effectively erasing her reign from history for centuries. It wasn't until modern times that Hatshepsut's legacy was rediscovered and her achievements were brought to light once again through meticulous 
archaeological efforts. Through the dedication of scholars and archaeologists, the enigmatic story of Hatshepsut was brought back to life, and her contributions to Egypt's history were rightfully recognized. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please subscribe, click the like button, and leave me a comment, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.